Well, with hospitals and medical facilities all across the country running low on key personnel, protective equipment or PPEs, uh, Tuskegee University is directing this much needed gear to local health care providers and first responders. That's right. University leaders and faculty pulled together more than 500 items from labs across campus for use by primary care medical centers. Joining us now is Public Health Director at Tuskegee University, Dr. Crystal James. Thanks so much for joining us this evening. Good afternoon. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Well, first of all, tell us how you guys did this. This is fantastic. You were able to help out. Well, Tuskegee has historically been engaged in our surrounding Black Belt counties um, from our founding principal to today. And being um, involved with the community organizations and when we learned that there was a need, um, different laboratories, we have the the ability because of the different um, research centers that we have on campus, we have a lot of different equipment that weren't being used because of our current situation with students and them being at home. And so it was um, a university decision that we would stockpile our PPE and those items that we could spare, we would definitely try to channel those to the Macon County health officials who are serving the community as well. Well, Tuskegee's always been on the cutting edge of uh, science and research, Doctor. Uh, where are, well, how are these, how are you making the decision as to where to distribute these materials? Well, um, unfortunately, in Macon County, as well as many of the Black Belt counties in Alabama, there are not a lot of different healthcare providers that are available. Right now, there's actually only one physician that's running these clinics. In um, Macon County, totally, there have only been 276 tests that have been administered, and of those, 35 have been found positive. And so, part of that shortage is not only in healthcare providers, but also in the test kits or the um, media that they need to make the test kits. And so along with the PPE, the university went through the process of partnering with the Alabama Department of Public Health to receive authorization to actually prepare the transport media for those test kits to ensure that their tests are available and the healthcare providers who are administering those tests um, according to state and federal protocols have the materials that they need as they seek to test more individuals in Macon County and other Black Belt counties. Wow, that's wonderful. So can you tell us a little bit about how the staff and students and everybody who are part of Tuskegee, how are they doing and what is sort of happening in terms of, you know, plans for the next step? Well, we are very fortunate. Acting President um, Perry is a veterinarian by um, training. And with this been a coronavirus um, originating in animals and transferring to humans, she recognized immediately that we needed to be um, out front and encouraging our not only our university partners, but our community partners in staying safe and following guidelines. And so we have been since the end of um, January, early February, pull together a community task force that we're looking at the different things that we can do in the university community, but also how can we partner with local public health departments as well as emergency preparedness and um, fire and police to ensure that we were good partners with them. We do have several different um, leaders across the university that are involved in making sure and providing not only the PPE, but also to be involved in these different community organizations to provide whatever expertise that we have at the university to make that available in the community at large. And Doctor, one a final thing, in the South, uh, we, we know that there are hospital and emergency room deserts out there, so a lot of clinics have to be uh, have to be uh, outfitted with this particular sort of PPE. Are you in concert, working in concert with other HBCUs across the region to make this happen? Well, actually right now, because uh, we just got our authorization from the state of Alabama ourselves, we ha are, have not created those type of collaborations across HBCUs, but we are encouraging our partners who are out there and that we work with on other projects to use their state mechanisms, because as we understand, each individual state has their own um, authorization process for these types of procedures so that they have the proper authorizations in place so that we can partner. Um, it is our desire and our intention to partner with um, our sister school right here, Alabama State, and other states within the other um, HBCUs within the state to make sure that those universities that have the capability to assist in the communities that they serve also are aware of this mechanism and um, actually bring their resource to bear in the communities that they serve. It's one of the other critical reasons why the HBCUs are so important because of our um, 
ability and willingness to be community servants. Yeah, absolutely. We commend you um, and the rest of the mm -hmm. school on what you're doing and how you're doing it. Um, any final thoughts on actually uh, personal uh, ways of handling this? Uh, students, uh, social distancing, wearing masks. What's your messaging? Well, I would just like to say as our state um, announced today that we're going to be opening up our um, retail show, um, stores as well as beaches. And as other states move to um, make these types of announcements across the country, we do need to um, stay vigilant. We understand that from the data that was released, um, minority populations are more likely or are being shown through this data more likely to have more severe illness and actually death when they are do contract COVID-19. So even when we have these um, new opportunities to go out and to do retail shopping and other things that'll be opening up, the biggest message for all of us is to stay home and stay safe if you have the ability to do so. This um, virus is not, um, we have not seen the peak of this epi curve that you've heard so much about in the media. And as we continue to actually ramp up testing, we'll that would become even more um, clear to us, especially in those communities like Macon County and other Black Belt counties that have not seen widespread testing as of yet. So even though things are starting to open, please use um, those universal precautions. Make sure you stay six feet away and you try to stay home as much as you possibly can. All right, Dr. James, thank you very much uh, for all you do at Tuskegee. Be well over there in Pike Road, Alabama, and we thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me.